Steve, thanks for the invitation to Imcross today. Now, tell us a little bit about the company background. The company was started in 1994 by Richard Arnold and his business partner, John Cook. Originally, it started out um, just one unit, 2,000 square feet, uh, went back to tool making, um, and it's grown to 55,000 square feet uh, today, and 110 people, so rapid expansion. And I see, looking at your foyer, you've got a lot of components for the aerospace sector. Is that your prime business? Yeah, we're 100% aerospace now. Um, we weren't always. When the company uh, was first formed in 94, um, we did a lot of Formula One work, uh, primarily for Mercedes. And um, gradually, we moved away from that and went back into aerospace, which is where the sort of long-term background of my father has, has come from. Um, and we, that's where we prefer to be. And when you look at the future, um, obviously aerospace are very strong, both military and uh, civil. Is there going to be expansion here? Yeah, we're looking at big expansion. Um, we go to supplier conferences all over the world and, and the numbers that, are, that we're all facing um, are huge. They're going to try and build 30,000 new aeroplanes in the next 15 to 20 years. Uh, 10,000 of those have got to replace some of the older, dirty aeroplanes that are no longer compliant. And there's a lot of new aircraft. So um, the, the global urbanization that the, the planet is going through now means that so many people are going to want to travel. And there's going to be a huge demand on all of us to keep up with this aggressive build rate that, that, uh, that the likes of Boeing and Airbus are, are going to want to achieve. Now, aerospace is a global market, as we know. But obviously, where you, you are based in Stroud, there's some key players around here, isn't there? Yeah, it's a very good region to be in. Um, there's uh, a lot of aerospace history in uh, Gloucestershire and, and just outside of it. So we're, we're well placed for, for a lot of these opportunities that are now coming up. And I see, obviously, the type of machine tools you've got here from Matsura and Mazak. Uh, obviously, it, they're critical parts that you're actually making. And uh, obviously, with that, we're principally here today to talk about Mitutoyo and how you work with those guys. It, it, Where's the future hold for your investment? Uh, investment really is now quite specific depending on what relationships we have with our customer base and what it is they're looking for. Um, we're trying to do LTAs uh, with customers now. We want to um, be a competitive volume manufacturing company. Our background is R&D and we'll never lose that completely. We always want to still do R&D. Uh, but really what we're here to do now is to do a very difficult component in volume and do it competitively, and I mean competitively with regard to the whole world. Well, sounds like a great uh, UK success story. Good luck with the expansion. Thank you very much. Stuart, you head up the department here for the inspection and measurement at Imcross. Uh, now, Mitutoyo features very heavily in this uh, company, but could you tell me about the relationship you have with them? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've had a really good relationship with Mitutoyo for uh, over 25 years now. Uh, they supply as precision parts that we know from producers are really good product. So when the guys on the shop floor, they're producing these parts, they bring it here, and they can be guaranteed that the results that we give them uh, you know, are correct and accurate, and if there's any measurements that we need to sort of recheck, we're happy to do that. Um, and it's a really good, sturdy product for us. It's highly accurate uh, for precision parts, which we manufacture for the aircraft industry. Yeah, you say that. I mean, aerospace is a big key feature here, isn't it? But what sort of tolerances are we talking? I mean, on the CMMs, we're looking at tolerances of um, sort of like 10 microns, I suppose we're looking at. Some of the other type of other parts we use, uh, so for like the laser mics, we're looking at clearances of two parts, so up to sort of like two microns. So we're looking at high accurate parts. There. So when I look around the uh, workshop you've got here, you've got a, a lot of different products emitted. So could you tell me what you have invested in here? Uh, in the inspection department, we've got two CMMs, uh, and we've got a third one coming. Um, we've got a uh, round test, which is uh, a, a, valuable, a really valuable bit of kit for checking straightness and cylindricity for us. Uh, we have a con tracer, uh, again, which is a, a requirement by the customer, so we've bought that specifically for that part. Uh, we've got all handheld equipment, micrometers, verniers, and everything else. All our uh, handheld equipment is Mitutoyo. And we've also got uh, shadow graphs and projectors throughout the shop floor as well. And when you look at the relationship with Mitutoyo, how, how long have you been using their products? Uh, personally, I've been using them since I've been in engineering uh, throughout every company I've worked at, actually. But uh, here, um, 
I've been here 13 years and I've used it since then, but prior to that, I think it's another previous 10, 10 years before that we've been using Mitutoyo. So when you look at the backup and uh, support from Mitutoyo, what's your view? Oh, it's, the, the backup we have from Mitutoyo is really good. I mean, you just be there on the end of the phone. If you need to speak to them, they're always there. They uh, give us all the support we need. Uh, and they're immediate. They're very, very good for what we need. And looking at the uh, expansion plans for the company, obviously aerospace is going to feature highly with that. Do you, do you see that there's more investment on the inspection and measurement products? Uh, definitely. I mean, the requirement from the aerospace industry now, they, they want you to sort of 100% check parts, uh, make sure you have SPC on components, um, ensuring that you have full traceability for all the parts we manufacture. So the, the CMMs and the round test and the surf test and everything else, it's all recordable and traceable. So we've got all that information there for the customer. And that's the key, isn't it, keeping the customer happy. But when you look at uh, lots of different other products available in the metrology section, you know, do you feel that you would ever buy anything outside of Mitutoyo? Uh, I don't, personally, we don't see the need to do that because they supply everything that we need. If, say, for example, something come on that they didn't supply, then we'd have to think about it. But at the moment, they cover everything that we need. Looking at the uh, investment that you have here from Mitutoya, I can see obviously they're, they're a big player and also great support to you guys. So thanks very much for your time, Stuart. Okay, thanks very much.